Hey guys, today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at Dollywood's Smoky Mountain Christmas. And the next two days we are here to try some of their food items off their holiday menu. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Well, let's see what the Spotlight Bakery has for the Christmas season. Smoky Mountain Christmas. Macaroons, holiday danishes, and holiday treats. Gingerbread guy on there for you, Bobby. Let's head in. All right, let's look at the items. Gingerbread man. Look at that cupcake. Chocolate chip cookies, danishes. Christmas cupcakes. We're going to try that. The hot Thank chocolate you. cupcake. Cinnamon rolls. Danishes. Back there. Fixing them up. Here are the prices for you guys. Apple pie, $20 a slice. And any drinks. Hot chocolate cupcake. Looks like it has some peppermint icing on top. All crumbled up in there. Give it a try, Bobby. I want to say they always decorate all their cupcakes and cookies so pretty, don't they? It's they a do. nice, heavy mm. cupcake. Chocolate. It's a big cupcake. I just some peppermint. You can see it better now since Bobby's taking her first bite with the chocolate icing, chocolate cupcake, and the crushed candy canes, probably. Yeah. Peppermint. The uh, cupcake is very moist. I like the icing, the chocolate with the peppermint candy cane on there. It's a good combination. As you see, they put plenty of candy cane pieces on there. So you like it? I do. I think it's you like it. It's not too it. much. I was wondering if no, that would be too much. Not for me, if, if you like candy there. canes. Okay. Just picked up our Smoky Mountain Christmas tasting pass. Cost us $35.43 with the gold pass. Now this is gonna enable us to go to these food stands and get five items with this. They'll scan the back of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy the most expensive items with this. Like some of them I think $13.99. You don't wanna use it on a $5 drink. And we bought two of these. We're gonna try 10 different things on it. Well, let's start off and get a couple items. The stand is offering chicken pot pie bread cone, southern style chicken pot pie made with savory meat, vegetables, and even more delicious, and a homemade bread cone. A Christmas toasty sandwich. That has Brussels sprouts and turkey pot roast, and holiday limeade. Let's go up here and get a couple of them. Let's look at the prices on these. Chicken pot pie, $11.99. Chicken toasty sandwich, $13.99. Holiday limeade, $4.99. We're gonna use the tasting pass on those two. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's start off with this one, the Christmas Toasty Sandwich. This looks really good. It's got the turkey stuffing. Really. Yeah, turkey pot roast stuffing. Yeah. yeah you and got the green Brussels here. sprouts. Let's see, can you see them in there? I didn't see a whole lot. A little Swiss bit. Swiss cheese right there. topped with cranberry mayonnaise. Right there. And there's the turkey gravy. gravy. Yeah, I'm going to try it On a delicious roll, it says. It looks delicious. 
Well, what did you think about that? Okay, that's a delicious sandwich. I think we can make this one at home, like some leftovers from Thanksgiving. I really like this stuffing. Uh, the Swiss cheese, you can really taste that. It's not a whole lot of Brussels sprouts. So you can't taste the Brussels get, sprouts, yeah, so huh? You won't Maybe even know I'll you're try. Eating them. So that is a good looking sandwich. Let's just take one more look. Yep, it's toasted nice. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why it's called the toasty sandwich. Mm -hmm. Chicken pot pie bread pan. Look in there. Filled, a, filled it up, didn't they? Chicken pot pie made with savory meat and vegetables. Yeah. It's coming out. And it cracked in half. That's why I want to put it in half. So let's just yeah. try the meat by itself. Yeah, they put so much in there, it cracked it. It's pretty good. Let's try this. That's very good. The chicken is nice and tender. <clears throat> There's a lot of meat, so big carrot in there. You'll like that, Bobby. Let's try this. Let's just try the crust by itself. I guess probably the way you're supposed to eat it maybe is to pick it up and bite it. Well, I'm just going to try it like this with the crust. Now, the crust is a little chewy. The meat inside, it's a lot better than the crust, but it's a good idea. So, and they gave it to us like this, so I'm guessing that you walk and eat it. And you probably mm -hmm. could. You could eat it that way. I don't know. Oops. So, I think both of these would be yeah. really nice for a uh, Christmas party or something like that. Yeah, they're both very good. So far, I'm happier with this stuff than I was with the uh, Harvest Festival foods. Bobby's gonna try it. So I like the filling inside that mm -hmm. pot pie. Plenty of chicken, gravy, and the carrots. I'm not sure which one I'd like better. Both are very good. Well, I'm gonna try this, see how good it is, even though it has Brussels sprouts on it. And that turkey on there is so good. We haven't tried it with gravy yet. Let's put a little bit of gravy on there. See how that does to it. There. I'm gonna go with Bobby. I don't know which one's better, but I really like this. That gravy takes it up a little notch. Both these are good. So if you come to Dollywood, we recommend getting both these items with your tasting pass, and especially as much as they cost. You wanna use your tasting pass on the higher price items. After eating more of this sandwich, I can taste the Brussels sprouts in it. So if you guys like Brussels sprouts, you're gonna love it like Bobby, but there's big pieces of them in there. I was hoping you'd eat that big piece. No, I'm not gonna eat it. Your grandma would be so proud I know. if you would She eat would that. be. I'm All not right, doing it. I'm From God our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel came. And unto certain shepherds brought tidings of the same. How that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Let's try something at the Market Square. Let's see what they have. Pot roast fries, french fries topped with savory pot roast, homemade gravy, and white cheddar sauce. And they have a cranberry orange drink. Let's go with that. Let's see what the pot roast fries cost without the tasting pass. $13.99, the orange drink, $4.99. Green onions, garlic? Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, whatever, what else, what all comes on that? Green That's onions. It. Yeah. Yeah, put some on there. Okay, here you go. All right, Enjoy th your meal. Thank you. Get your fork here. All right, thanks. Pot roast fries. Those be crispy French fries. Let's just try one by itself. Not too bad. Get some pot roast, 
creamy cheese sauce. So let's just get it all. It smells really roast. good. Yeah, let's get a chive in there. Everything's on there. It's another good item here at Dollywood. I like the white cheddar cheese sauce blending in with the pot roast. Pot roast is very tender. Fries are done well. Another good dish, Bobby. Yeah, and they gave you plenty of pot roast in there. They did. I mean, you guys can see that. There's plenty in there. So, yeah, it's good. Good dish. Bobby likes pot roast. She's going to give it a whirl. So the fries are nice and warm. Pot roast, like you said, is tender. I really like the cheese. Mm -hmm. there. That's what I'm telling you. How good that is. So, everything we've eaten so far has been really good. I'm not, I'm not sure which I would rather have. Wait, these guys are telling me they want a bite. So here, let me give them one. Are you like a bite? Let's get them a lot of pot roast. Get them some extra cheese and a fry. There you guys go. Does that look good? It does. Tell us how that is. I would just put the cheese sauce over those fries. I think that would be good that way. Well, it'd be good that way, but that's some good pot roast. It is, but I like that cheese. Made it back to Crossroads Funnel Cake. Pick up another item. See what they have. Powdered sugar funnel cake, but here's what we're getting. Gingerbread funnel cake. $9.99. Our popular funnel cakes get topped with flavorful holiday combination of crumbled ginger snaps, powdered sugar, vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and a bite-sized gingerbread cookie. That's what it's supposed to look like. Well, what do you think of it, Bobby? I think it's cute. Little gingerbread guy there. Got your ginger snaps. There's powdered sugar. What'd you say? Some vanilla icing? Whipped cream and a bite-sized gingerbread man cookie. I think we'll save him for last, John. All right. Funnel cake. Hard to cut with a fork. You really yeah, can't. Yeah, almost got to pick it up. It's messy. Get some crumbles and icing and everything in that bite. Okay. What did you think of that? I like it, but you can't taste a lot of the ginger snap cookies. I don't think there's a whole lot on there with the cream and everything. Um, what'd you say that would be? Ten dollars? Yeah, if you didn't have the tasting pass, that was ten dollars. Um, it's pretty small. It is small for ten dollars, but I, um, I do like it. The little guy there. And you said that's a cookie. That's what it says. It says it's a cookie. Well, I'm gonna say it's more a piece of candy, John, because it was, it was hard, like crunchy hard. Well, just going by what the description is, let's take a look. It looks like candy. Was, I hope he was edible. But it says gingerbread man cookie on the description. I'm going at it. It's crispy. Hard to cut. I should have brought a knife back here. Yeah, you should have brought a knife. Got some of those crumbles on there. Got the icing. Got everything. I can taste a hint of the ginger snap cookies on there. Uh -huh. I can really taste the icing in the bite I got. Very crispy. If you weren't getting a tasting pass, this for ten bucks, I think I'd get the, the larger funnel cake for ten bucks than spending ten dollars on this. I mean, this is good. But probably not for 10 bucks. Way down yonder beside the creek, I seen the sandy washing his feet. Free Jim, free John, bring him Christmas all night long. Everybody's checking out the tree. We are gonna try some of this food at the Market Square. We already had one from that side. 
see what this one's offering. Christmas shaker salad. <laughs> Pork belly skillet. And a sweet Italian sausage skillet. I think we'll try that one. And this one. Let's go get it. Here are the prices. Without the tasting price. $8.99, $13.99, and $13.99. There they are. I'm making it back there. Let's try to look at it. Bobby got the Christmas shaker salad. How's it look? It's a nice size, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I see some cranberries in there, feta cheese, maybe some almonds. Yep. And your dressing is a pomegranate maple vinaigrette. Now we can really see in there. Yeah, a lot of chopped up almonds in there. Yeah, huh? and you like cranberries. cranberries. There's the dressing. I like that they put it in a little this year and you can put on how much you want. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's a little bit thick, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna try it by itself. All right. That's good. You can taste the pomegranate in it. Um, I don't really taste a whole lot of maple. That's not bad. No. Okay. That'd be a nice dressing to make at home. So what do you do? Put the lid on there and shake it? Is that I, why it's I called a shaker? So. But just try and it I'm on top. I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah, I make it easy. You can get everything on top there. Yeah. Okay. Love feta cheese. Yep, so you should like this. And I love cranberries. You got it all. All right. All right, so everything's really fresh in there. The lettuce, the feta cheese, the nice big chunks. The almonds are fresh because they're still crunchy. But this may be a nice uh, new menu for us at Christmas time, John. Find out how they made this dressing. Oh, okay. So look it up. For Christmas time. You like it that well? I do. Before I try this dish, I'm going to clarify something that's always brought up. When you order this and you use the tasting pass, you are getting the same size that you do when you pay for it with cash. There's no different. We have asked everybody. I have stood there and watched people pay cash with it and they get the same one. A lot of people think that this is a sample. This is a full serving. So when I'm showing you guys the prices, that's what you would pay for each item we're showing you. All right, let's try it. We have Italian sausage, red potatoes or some white potatoes and peppers in there. It looks pretty tasty. I'm just gonna try the sausage. Love the sausage. Had a little spice to it. Reminds me of the Italian sausage you get on pizza. Let's take a little bite of the white and red potatoes. Those are prepared. Excellent. Nice and soft. Okay. So you got a lot of nice uh, green peppers, red peppers, yeah. and some onions. You're that gonna, gives it a lot of flavor. You're going to like that. Now again, that was $13.99 to buy. Bobby's was $9. You're going to get this stuff by the tasting pass. Don't pay $14 for that. Okay, so I'm a big fan of the onions and peppers. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna agree with you with those potatoes. They're nice and soft. Uh-huh. But those peppers and onions just add to the flavors. That's a nice dish. Yeah. Love the sausage in there. Matter how far away you roam when you pine for the sunshine of a friendly case. For the holidays you can beat home, sweet home. I met a man who lives in Tennessee and he was at four. Pennsylvania and some homemade pumpkin pie. From Pennsylvania folks are traveling down to Dixie's sunny shore. From Atlantic to Pacific. Gee, the traffic is terrific. <laughs> Well, we're gonna get some potato soup here at the Iron Horse Pizza. Let's go up and look at the sign. Loaded potato soup, overflowing with the taste of chive, cheddar, and bacon. Let's head in. Potato soup is $5.99. We're not gonna use our pass on that. We're just going to pay cash for that one. We don't want to waste a pass for $6. There 
is the potato soup. There you go. Thank right you. out of there. Very good. Ah, I don't want any. Thanks. And some pizza. Okay, I know it's 70 some degrees and we got potato soup. Um, see, look how creamy that is. Potatoes. Looks like there's a little bit of bacon in there. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try this. It says it has cheddar and topped with herbs. Okay. All right, before I ask you what you thought of it, the description says it is overflowing with the taste of chives, cheddar, and bacon. Is it? It is. They described it just right. I mean, plenty of uh, the cheddar flavor. And I noticed that the uh, potatoes still have the skins left on them. Very creamy. Nice soup for a cold day, but it's 74 yeah. degrees. But I'm glad we tried it. I'm going to try it. Bobby says it is so good I have to try it. You can see the chives in there. Very creamy. I can really taste the bacon in it. Mm -hmm. That's some good potato soup. We didn't use the taste past. We set in there. That was $6.00. Use this on the stuff that's ten or ten dollars up or more. Just buy that if you want it. That's very good. All right, let's try something off this menu. Bush's three bean chili and cornbread crumble. Turkey thigh campfire skillet. Okay, thank you. And chipotle turkey nachos. I think we'll try those first. All right, let's break this down. Got the corn chips, tender turkey pot roast. Said it's flavored with honey and chipotle and a variety of tasty toppings. I see jalapenos on there, onions, scallions, tomatoes. Okay, wonder if those are going to be hot. I think I might I skip know. on that. All right, get, a get you a of lot that. of turkey on there. Yeah. What'd you think? Okay, first I want to say the nachos are fresh. They're not stale. That's which, a good thing. That's a plus. I like the cheese on there with the scallions. Now. The meat's moist and tender, but um, has just a little bit of a spice to it. Nothing that's too bad for me, but you can taste a little bit of spice. And that could be coming from a lot of stuff, maybe from the jalapeno peppers, but reading the ingredients, Ooh. it says turkey pot roast is flavored with honey and chipotle. So I don't know how wow. spicy that is. Yep. The mm. jalapeno is spicy. There's Very where hot. you're getting it. Yeah. Too hot. Don't eat those. So that may be the juice came off and was on the meat. So you do like it? I do. I'm gonna try it. Big old mound of that turkey. They gave us quite a bit of that. They did. Watch out for that jalapeno. My mouth is still burning. That is so good. I think the meat is where you're getting that spice. Try a piece of the meat by itself. Because I don't think it's that spicy. I think it's that jalapeno. The meat's got a, a little bit of spice to it, I think. It's sweet because it's it's made with honey and chipotle, but the jalapenos are hot. But when I ate that first chip, I didn't have a jalapeno on there, so it could have been sitting okay. on top of that. But it's nothing too spicy that... No, I think it's like, I can eat excellent. That. I think that's very good. I'm real I, happy with that I would that just one. take off the jalapenos. Yeah, you don't have to get them. They ask no. you if you want jalapenos. Well, I said but put everything. Like they said, what do you want on it? I said everything. Yeah. Once again, I could eat that with just that cheese on it. I wanted to come back on and say one more thing about this. First thing, it is so good, but those jalapenos are some of the hottest jalapenos that they I have. They are. So if you don't like a lot of spice, leave those off. Very good. A few more items we're not gonna get in these. A gingerbread churro, a waffle, and an ice cream and a gingerbread cone. What that looks like. I came back to get this pork belly skillet after talking to Chad and Natasha who have a YouTube channel. Make sure to go check those guys out. 
They said if you like candy bacon, get this. And I love candy bacon. So I'm gonna try it, never had pork belly. If you were to buy this, this would cost you $13.99, so we're using the tasting pass on it. All right, got the pork belly skillet. Let's try it, let's just try that piece of this pork belly. Never have had this before. That's pretty good, I've been missing out. That reminds me of a pork chop and a bacon mixture. It's very tender. A little char, you guys can see that on the outside. I am so glad I got the pork belly. I'm gonna start getting that more often. Best way for me to describe it is like I said, with the pork chop and the bacon, but that has the candy flavor. It gives it that sweetness, sugary taste to it. And those potatoes, Bobby, those potatoes are amazing. You know that. Mm -hmm. Bollywood's doing a great job this year so far. Right, excited to get that. I like that shirt. They're always nice and comfortable. Got the broken glasses. It looks like Ralphie. It does. You'll and with the movie eyes. coming out, it cannot go wrong. Well, you wanted it on the front. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have something on the front. Nah. But it's on the back. We'll just ask everybody. You like designs on the front or back? Ready to leave, going into Show Street Ice Cream. Pick up something sweet. It's our choices. Peppermint milkshake. Ice cream sandwich. Belgian waffles dipped in chocolate and topped with peppermint crumble crust. And ice cream in a gingerbread cone. Let's head in. All right, guys. Here's our receipt for the ice cream sandwich. It was $8.99. We had the gold pass, $8.35. $8.46. What do you think, Bobby? Oh, that's a pretty big size. Yeah, hold it up there and see. That is big. Put a lot of ice cream on there. Yeah. Okay. See, so you try <laughs> to eat that. Okay, so that's Mayfield's ice cream chocolate with the. Um, Candy canes on it. It's a good choice with a little bit of the chocolate. And this is soft. I thought it would be hard, but it wasn't. It's pretty good. They loaded us up. They did. He put a lot of chocolate ice cream on there. We cut it in half. You can see it a little better. There's the whole thing. Half of it's enough. Don't need a whole one. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed our trip around Dollywood trying all their Smoky Mountain Christmas items for this year. What did you think about it? First, I wanted to thank Dollywood and the entire staff and the people that did the decorating, the people that ran the registers, prepared the food, drove the trams, and the performers, and the people that kept the park clean. Everyone did a great job in making our experience a good one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, for the food, I was really impressed with it. It was. Really? Yeah, it was all good. I don't think it was one thing that we tried that we didn't like. Now, if I had to choose, I would pick the turkey sandwich with the Brussels sprouts. The, I think it had Swiss cheese on it. Yeah, Swiss stuffing. cheese. That was excellent. Now, if you didn't want the bread, they had the salad shaker with those sweet cranberries and with the crunchiness of the almonds and the feta cheese. That would be my second my favorite, and that's tough, guys. I like the nachos with that turkey that had the chipotle and the honey in it. It's real hot jalapeno peppers on there. Uh, the pot roast french fries were good. The Italian sausage in with those potatoes. I had those potatoes in two different items. The red and, you tried them, the red and white potatoes with all the peppers and onions in them. Those were so good. Everything was good. Probably my least favorite thing was the funnel cake. Yeah, that would probably the least I would pick too. Is it? I think it was just a little too crunchy yeah, when they made it. Yeah, it was small. But yeah. otherwise, yeah, they nailed it. Yeah. But before we go, we're going to give you some advice. If you're coming here, 
get the tasting pass. There it is. Because individually, a lot of those items are $14. You're gonna be able to get that pass for $35 if you have a gold pass. So you're gonna be able to get those for $7 a piece instead of spending 14. Otherwise, this is a place you guys need to come have some good food this year. Yeah, if you wanna just feel the spirit of Christmas, it's here. I mean, the music that they play, and they just did a great job, didn't they? They it's did. It's just beautiful here. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B have left the building. Oh, that's good. Go like this.